electrical tape. You can use any tape, it doesn't matter. Just gonna tape that. So when I get one piece of the string, it should. We're gonna pull it out through this uh, motherboard tray back here. I'll show you that. But here we go. These stepper motors. Oh, I gotta take these screws off. And these screws, actually. Grease on my hand again. Looks like it's gonna work so far. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot easier than trying to fish it through those holes and down here while it's all assembled. Here we go. That's in. Wires go first, actually. Go, wires, go. Okay. Push it right in front there. If you have a partner or something helping you do this, it a lot easier. And I'm rest that right there. Pulling some wires down to this hole here. And that wire is still stuck. There we go. Just make sure everything is good. Um, let's just go with it. Slowly lower it. Can go through. That's why. It's already taped. Alright, I gotta. Uh, this wire here didn't go through the second shaft, so that's what's blocking it right now. I don't know why I didn't put that through. But uh, I'm gonna take this back out and redo it. See how fast I can figure it. Take this tape off. And this is the wire that didn't go through. It's blocking everything. So just make sure every wire is through. And now we got it. And everything looks good. X motor should be up here. And let me just retape this here. Got it. All right, here we go. Down, 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 down there. Can't reach it yet. There we go. Come on, guys. There we go. Now let's go down. Make sure. All right, the wires for this stepper motor should be facing this way. Uh, these two holes should be facing this way. So we can screw it down over here. This should be facing that way. Just go, just go, just go, just go.
think we have enough slack to go through the mother tray now. I'm just gonna hold it like this and it's through now. Put all the wires down there. Go in there wires. Get in there. And then from the back here the motherboard tray. You're just gonna reach in there. Just try to grab at least one. And you should be able to pull most of them out. Just one by one. One by one. It's all jammed in there. If you have a hook or something, just put it in there and hook it in. Here we go. Got everything. So. Let's lower everything down, and that's it. Hardest part done. Easy. You just fix the wires down here. Make sure everything is straight. Everything looks good so far. Uh, what I like to do is just go through every wire for each or whatever it's for and just you know just give it some personal attention. Make sure everything looks good. This one's good, nice and straight. This one here is for the geared stepper motor. For the extruder. Pull this down. Alright, good. Nice and straight. This one is for the X, which is this one up here. We'll just pull that down later since this is not in its spot yet. This is for the. Not sure what. Oh, the Mister. This is for the hot head. Nice and straight. Z, which is the motor that's right here. And I believe the end stop for the X or Z. One of those. Alright, so what we're going to do now is, should I give you a better angle there? to its position, Where is it here? which is about good there, put these screws in here, for the rod support, I just do one for now. Do this one for now also. Put it in position. Take this one out. We no longer no longer need this. So now the rod support is attached to the frame basically. Just by these screws. This is free to move. Um, now we're gonna attach the stepper motor. Stepper motor, yep, yep, yep. Stepper motor. Just making sure everything looks good over here. 
stepper motor. How you're gonna do that is from back here, these two screws. Uh, it's almost lined up. Are these the screws now? These are the screws for the stepper motor. Alright, so if I didn't have that lithium grease in there, it would be a lot easier. Just gonna lift the stepper motor up a little bit and put the screws in. That should go right through the motor bracket to its 1032 nuts that we put in there, press fitted in there earlier. Alright, so the Z motor is now mounted. Supported by these two screws here. Alright, Z's in place. That's a lot easier than I thought. It's getting all those wires down there. Just wipe this off here. So, I'm going to tighten this, the rod supports down, fully tighten it. I have to do it the slow way. So, so far, how to assemble it, um, everything's going as planned. Uh, the first time when I assembled it, I mean, I had to redo everything, all the access, you know, I tried to do the Z first, and then I did the X, and then, you know, just a lot of complications. There. So, this is working good so far. I think the hard part was the Z, which is done now. The Y bed is going to be here, so we're going to have easy access to it. Come on, guy. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. And that's good enough. So we have all our wires out through the motherboard tray hole here. You can see that the Z motor is mounted. We have this. Oh, there goes the X. This here. And we want to take a look inside. Here we go. That's pretty easy. 